Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use the new 3D effect in Illustrator. And we're going to be using this 3D effect and making a poster with it in Photoshop. So first of all, start off with your typography. This is custom lettering I've done. You can watch my other videos if you want to see how I do this. You can also use normal text, so you can just type out balance. We're using the text balance because we're going to make a new balance poster. Uh, let's just use Helvetica, use shift, scale it up and make sure you go to object, expand. So this is if you want to do it using normal text. So you just go to effect warp, maybe add an arc or something, if that looks good. And then go to object, expand appearance, and there you go. So you can do it using normal text as well, but I'm using a hand-drawn custom typography. I think it just looks better. And especially having curves like this and sharp edges and corners, that really helps the 3D effects shine. So what we're going to do is select our typography, go to Effect, 3D and Materials, and we're going to click Inflate. So now we're going to mess with some of the settings. I'd recommend messing around yourself just so you get a better understanding of how they work. That's the best way to learn this. Uh, go to Materials panel, and the main thing we have to mess around with is the base properties. So Roughness and Metallic. Roughness controls uh, how shiny the surface is, and Metallic controls how much light reflects off the metal. So for roughness, we're going to go with uh, 0 0.17 and metallic 0 0.33. Okay, so that gives you some nice highlights. Then go to lighting. And again, I would recommend messing around, finding the best settings that suit your text and what the look that you're going for. But these are the settings that I'm going to use. I'll turn the softness down and I'm going to turn the intensity of the light up just so we can have uh, some brighter text. There we go. So this is the look that I'm going for, for my text. And when you're done, when you're happy with all of your settings, you can select your text, go to here up top, this little button, turn on ray tracing and click high for the quality and click render. So now once it's rendered, you can see the highlights are very white, very sharp. So this looks really good so far, but we can make it look even better using some Photoshop. So select the whole thing and hit command C and let's paste it into Photoshop. We're gonna paste it in as pixels. That'll save us some space and some memory. So now that it's here, let's scale it up to what we like. Now we're going to add adjustment layers. Uh, first thing I'm gonna add is a brightness and contrast adjustment. So what I'm doing is just bringing up the brightness a bit and also the contrast, you can mess with this, see what suits you best. Next adjustment is going to be U and saturation. But if you're not happy with the color of the text, this is a really good way to edit it. You can just mess around with the U, saturation, and the lightness all in this adjustment panel. Next, we can also add a fill layer. So this is actually just a, a dark green fill layer. We're changing the blending mode to soft light and turning the opacity down as well. So you can see the difference that this makes. It's quite significant. It just helps to get the color that we want. I'm also adding a highlight layer here. So this is a, this is a cream color, as you can see, and it's set to multiply and the opacity is turned down. And this is a very small slight adjustment, but as you can see, the highlight color kind of changes. It just becomes a slight bit duller. And the reason we're changing this color actually is to match this shoe that we have. So this is the New Balance 550. It's a very uh, trendy shoe at the moment. And we're gonna make a poster using this. So just dragging the text up a bit so it sits behind the shoe and then add some typography details i have them typed out already here so i've just added a barcode uh, the date my instagram add the new balance logo and some copy i always use helvetica for all my typography details i think you don't need any fancy fonts you just need to use some classic fonts and know how to use them well i'm also adding helvetica here saying find your balance it's kind of like a ad for the New Balance shoe. That's the concept of this poster. Also, we can add textures. So we're using black market copy scan textures, set to screen, and the opacity is turned down to 35. And we're also adding a little grain texture using just noise and a bit of Gaussian blur. The final thing we're gonna do, as you can see, the poster looks very washed out, very beige. So to add some more contrast to it, what we're gonna do is hit Command, Option, Shift, E. And that's going to merge all these layers and create a new layer on top. Then we're going to right click and convert to smart object. 
just so we can change whatever adjustments we make and hit camera raw filter and here I'm just going to turn the exposure up a bit and you can see that gives a lift to the poster. You can also add some temperature adjustment if you like, maybe something slight like one or two. Don't go too crazy with it because it'll become too yellow or too blue. You can also mess around with the highlights, contrast, all of this if you want, but I'm fine with how this looks. And there we go, we're done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like if this helped you out, if you learned something new. And uh, let me know what you want to see next. Thank you.